crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis, brothers. Never again, they say. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. Finally, you're awake. Gotta tell you, though, mister. You wanna stay on here? You stop making all that noise. Noise? What... what noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, all right? Got any proof it was me? It could have been one of my neighbors. I slept like a rock. I, I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> That's exactly what a newcomer would say. Your neighbors are respectable people and would never do such a thing. Don't think your yellow-clad patron means you get away with everything. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Aren't we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood. They're stark raven mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting the kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish.
for your sins and repent. I don't need the key. Are a few damp papers all that's left of the expedition? A few damp papers, all that's left of the expedition. Someone smashed it beyond repair. Guess this helmet's beyond repair. to figure this out. We 
don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Drop the papers. Smash the rest. I fatal me a fee a Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. The old papers are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? Help me out here. What's the connection between newcomers and old newspapers? It's cold sleeping in the street and, and they come to collect the old newspapers for warmth. Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. And I also need your old newspapers, uh, the archive, to be exact. Ah, so, so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Give me an exclusive interview. You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll, uh... Be sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. See you later.
Stand up to them. Please help me. What? What creatures? What are you talking about? Wild beasts. They came to feast on the blood. They eaten the dead. I'm looking for Captain Sanders. Is he here in the port? Did the creatures get him? I, I saw Sanders. Help me. I, I, I'll tell you what I know. Dealt with the creatures. Now, tell me about Sanders. He got back several hours ago. Those things, they came because of him. This Sanders, what kind of man is he? A uh, newcomer. He seemed like a decent guy. Okay, Captain. Treated his crew well. I gotta find Sanders. Where is he? Saw him get away. Just after the shooting. Ran for the pier. Didn't see where he went after that. Did, uh... Did you see anyone else from the expedition? No. Only Sanders. I'd bet my life no one else made it back. The mayor's curse these days.
emptied every chamber. Oh, still stinks of burnt powder. Shot dead. Point blank. Sure didn't leave behind much. Gotta be out of your head to do this to a man. This would be a weird artifact in any collection. Cape Cod. No remarks here, but they've been erased. They were in high spirits. And plenty of them were drinking. Ah, you can't take me! Eat this! the mare with you! Ugh. Die! Die! No more drink. All we've seen, and you telling me we ain't allowed rum? Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. No more drink. All we've seen, and you telling me we ain't allowed rum? To the mayor with you! Ugh. Die! Die! Ah, you can't take me! Eat this! For whatever reason, the crew went berserk. Only one man got away.
patient or visitor? Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant guess. A visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? The usual. Nothing to write home about. Ah, a chronic headache sufferer. Fascinating. Uh, by coincidence, I was studying Helminth and their role in illness uh, before the flood. Uh, did you know that all of us are infected by Helminth? Y your headaches could indicate that they have infested your brain. That's news to me, Doc. Sounds serious. Hmm. May I suggest you become a subject in my experimental medical program? I think I'll pass, Doc. I played lab rat in an asylum in Boston. Can't say it did a damn thing for me. Oh, what a pity. It seems as though your brain is already too damaged by the Helminth for rational thought. I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Uh, cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. Bye. to you, mister. Pete, explosion, fishing with dynamite, it hurts talking. I'm sorry. Well, get better soon. Bye. Oh, my stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again, no sir. driving me insane Yeesh. what happened to your shoulder uh, some psycho in a bar brawl gun came out he clipped me good in the shoulder something I can help you with I'm just looking for someone uh, Captain Sanders Captain Sanders never heard of him I'm Joseph Willow y you should probably look somewhere else <sighs> that's funny the records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Spill. 
Oh, to the depths with it. Who sent you? I'm asking the questions here, pal. Yeah, well, first tell me who you are. Charles Reed, Private Eye. Throgmorton wants to know what happened to his lost expedition. So Throgmorton came looking at last. I knew someone like you would find me sooner or later. I think it'd be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. There are things that should never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. Maybe they'd still be alive. The scientists, my crew. None of them deserved what happened to them. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. He didn't make it. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what about the others? I don't know, uh, we, um, uh, my crew left them down there, underwater. I ordered a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You, uh, you weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror, Mr. Reed. We saw... Things. Not one of us dared sleep. It was an expedition into cursed waters. Mark my words. Tell me what happened on the last dive. We had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert, but all were half mad with fear. What were you looking for underwater? The cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists found cracks on the seabed. They were working on some theory of how it connected to the madness. The ocean floor splits open, and that means hysteria on land. Really? We spent days over the cracks. We heard things. Saw things looking back at us. I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Why? To stop them from rioting. To save them from despair. After those dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. But what happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then... Then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. Could you take me out to where the last dive took place? No, no. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. It's suicide. Worse than suicide. I'm a Navy diver, Captain. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. Do you know where I can get a good diving suit? My men got theirs from a local factory. If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. Where's the logbook from the Titania? Uh, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. Get better soon.
Take the patient's things and throw them in storage. that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister?
This wouldn't even hold air for a minute. I'm not trusting my life to a rusty suit.
chemical lamps are nearly spent, but I reckon I can still follow them. This stone isn't natural. Could it be a statue? didn't even take their tools with them. Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me as their aphid. Suits are all cut up. A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throck Morton. Sunk 
Tamer be our eyes, eyes to see the distance. Hark, he comes! The sacred, full-bellied bearer of splendor! Take me, make me, I beg you! Bearer of what? Who are you talking to? What happened? Uh, our, our, our eyes! First, second, third, opened by the aura! You see much, yet do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here sleeping. Cut the horse crap. Give me a straight answer. Nonsense. <laughs> but, but it is meaning that is meaningless. Open yourself. Walk. Listen. Pray. Wake, you holy worm. Take his skin and skull for your home. Take my worship and grant your kindness. I pray you. A perfectly preserved artifact. Was it the focus of their worship? The moment they take the key seal, get ready to cut up their diving suits. Forget them! Get the seed and the seal now! This uh, no uh, get away from me. I think I'm starting to get the picture. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diamonds. Hey? What? It's shivering. This uh, Forget them! Get the seed, and the seal, now! The expedition found an artifact that drove them mad. Then, the Innsmouthers stole it and the Professor in one go.
Makes this place feel more like home. I miss Boston already. Got news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are alive. They're on the seabed in the sunken ruins, some sort of ancient temple. They have enough air, but we need to hurry. What happened? Why didn't the sailors help them? The crew of the Titania mutinied against Sanders. The only man who escaped was your son. They put him on a lifeboat. The mutineers will face justice. Throwing Albert to the whims of the sea, he will be avenged. I'm afraid that's not all. The Innsmouthers took the expedition's discoveries and kidnapped the Professor. What? Those degenerates. How did that happen? The Innsmouthers. They knew about the temple. They waited there, hiding until the Professor took what the Innsmouthers call the seal. But how did they manage to catch my scientists off guard? It seems that after the seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of... mental breakdown. The Innsmouthers must have known about that, waited for the right moment. Then they made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. Drock! The Innsmouthers! Do you have proof they were involved? One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. They have Harriet, and the artifact she found, but she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Find them, Mr. Reed. Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. I'm looking into the madness, not politics and power games. And your best source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those Innsmouthers. 
Professor Doe shared the visions. She found something inside those ruins, and now they have her. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. I can be delicate when it matters, so shoot. I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a uh, collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throgmorton, not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. I would never be so crass as to hire a thief. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret, and you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. Indeed. Here is Herbert's address and an advance for your investigation. You'll find it's fair. Have a good day. <laughs>